And now we have another great comedian here. It's about time you got around to me. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Don Rickles. Thank you very much. What a night, what a crowd, what a lousy meal. Anyway... <laughs> I just threw that in because I started to get depressed. Uh, I must say it's really a great treat for my wife and me and to be at a table for four, sitting with 18 people and a dwarf that's biting on my neck. Uh, whatever that means. George, you're a beautiful man with a lot of money. Please do me a personal favor. Marry my mother. My mother's 81, but you can't even tell. And you're 87. It doesn't matter. You don't even have to make love. Just sit there with her and watch TV with your hand on a leg. And if my mother gets a little excited, change the channels. <laughs> I've got to mention Jack Benny. God rest his soul. He was something else. He was George's closest friend. I got my first big break at the Slate Brothers in California. And George brought Jack in to see me one night. Oh, was that a night? And George said to me, Jack, uh, you, 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 you're, you're gonna like, you're gonna like this guy. So I did my thing, and afterwards Jack said, "You know, George, this kid, you keep raving about. He's an insulting human being. You see, and I'm the first guy to tell you, George. You know I love you, but the guy is really out of line." You see, George said that the, 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 the kid's really funny, Jack. It's, 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 it's only a joke. And Jack said, don't sell me. Please don't sell me. I'm in show business, too, you know. And I know what's funny. Well, later I played Vegas, and George said, Jack, wait, 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 you're in Vegas. Go, 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 see, 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 Don. And he did. I did my thing that night, and God was good. I was a big hit. After the show, my wife and I uh, were sitting in my dressing room, and I was, I was really a nervous wreck. And, and Jack came in, adorable Jack. And he sat there and looked at both of us, and then he said, you know, kid, Mary isn't here tonight. She still isn't crazy about you. But I watched you tonight, and George told me that you're a good kid, and you're good to your mother. Mm. But what scares me is when you make fun of all those ethnic groups for no reason, you see. But I listened, and the audience loved it. So I turned to Mary and said, this kid is funny. And that's when she left the theater. <laughs> that night, I felt I really made it. Jack Benny and George Burns both liked me. <laughs> George, in conclusion, I'd like to say, please marry my mother. I can't wait to climb on your knee and call you daddy. <laughs>